Good morning. Please rise and join us in praying the Saint prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist today, Monday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Marlo Rosales. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill you faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her. I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband and never again my Baal. I will espouse you to be forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice. In love and in mercy, I will spouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous words. The Lord is gracious and merciful. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. 
The Lord is gracious and merciful. To honor the Holy Gospel, please rise. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him, and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel of his cloak. She said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a com commotion, he said, Go away, the girl is not dead but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. The news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. What we can observe here in this healing power of Jesus, in the healing power of Jesus, is the distance of Jesus and that those persons who are healed. The first one requested by the official to, to, to his daughter, to come near to Jesus so that Jesus can lay down his hand because he believed that, he, that her, his daughter will be healed. And the other one is the hemorrhagic woman trying to touch Jesus and indeed she, she, she was able to touch Jesus and she was cured. Beyond the message of the healing, the physical healing, we, we, we have heard in the Gospel, mother, brothers and sisters, this applies also to healing of our relationships. Maybe that is more, that is, that is more relevant to us when we need that, we really didn't need that healing because Jesus has commanded us to love one another. And that we come, if, if we only come near to Jesus, not like those of the flute players who were making a commotion, coming near out of curiosity to that dead girl, the daughter of the official, but coming near with, to Jesus. What is required of us, number one, it is, is simplified by the official, a sense of humility to come near to Jesus. And the other one is simplified by the hemorrhagic woman, the courage to be, to, to be near with Jesus. So we continue with this Mass, with the lessons of these two sick persons and translating that, that, that healing of Jesus relevant to our situation the healing of relationships. We invite others to come near to Jesus also so that we be healed in our, in our broken relationships with one another and be able to live the command of Jesus, love one another as I have loved you. Please all stand. God never intended us to die. 
He created us for life, but we choose de death. Christ, our Redeemer, restores us to life, and we come to our Father praying through Him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be a symbol of Christ's healing work by its care for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The doctors and nurses and all those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The people suffering from poverty may be drawn to Jesus who became poor for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bind up hearts that are broken through our kind deeds and consoling words, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the spread of the coronavirus pandemic come to a swift resolution. Sustain the efforts of medical experts, world leaders, and healthcare workers. Dispel our fear and call us to trust in you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who are suffering from the Russia-Ukraine war may be held in your loving care. Transform the hearts of those who perpetuate violence and oppression. Grant wisdom and humility to world leaders. For lost lives, for the injured, for families torn apart, for refugees, for relief workers and a rapid cessation of this war. Through the protection of Our Lady of Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of Father, keep us healing from all evil. And let your goodness shine on us with the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just.
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in, in the, the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them with the pupils, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 